stepping up to the line of scrimmage, the 22-yard line. They bring in the extra tight end. Falcons from the 22. Got drilled as he throws it. Well, there's no doubt what to do in a situation like this. You do not take a chance and, and put your team in a position where they have to make a big comeback in the second half. Play number six coming up on this drive. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Intercepted. Keekly, such an impressive athlete. We know he can tackle and stop the run game, but how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and picking it off. Good job. The Panthers have put together a tremendous offensive performance here, but still it's just a one-possession game because their defense isn't holding up its end of the bargain. You know, when you're in a game like this where the offense is playing well and your defense is really struggling, you don't say anything to the defensive players. You know why? Because, hey, next week it might be just the opposite. So go out there on the offensive side, take advantage of this situation, and pick it up for your defense. With this kick, the second half is underway. No return here as he makes the fair catch. The Panthers come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. The Falcons sat at the line. Dime package. They'll run it off the toss. Trufant's there to make the stop. And here we have second down. Newton standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And incomplete as Olsen can hold on. Hey, easy call. Be safe. Put the pressure on the other team to make the plays on the offensive side to beat you. So right here, you call something very conservative. Look at that. Everybody at the line of scrimmage. The defense showing a blitz. From the gun, Newton. He's picked off again. They bring him to the turf. Reed's probably going to go to the sideline and tell him, hey, I got such a good pair of hands after that interception that I should play some tight end. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you this. He is one good linebacker. Really good field position here to start this drive. Freeman's lined up in a single back formation. First down at the 33. Tammy's got the catch and the first. The Falcons look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. First down and 10. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. Ball is out, and the no one's going to get him now. He's at the 50. Now at the 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown. That's the way they're taught, to be greedy. Don't be satisfied with just getting the turnover. Take it all the way back to the house for the score. The point after is good. The Panthers now getting ready to kick it away. And he'll start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Falcons retaking the field with their offense in a game that hasn't been very pretty here of late. Turnovers by both teams on the last two possessions. Well, define the word pretty. I think if you ask the defensive teams, hey, they love this game. It's beautiful. So, so far, the takeaways by the defense. Going to take it the distance. The 30, the 20, the 10, and the touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. 
makes the PAT. Everyone's lined up for this kickoff. And this is Whitaker running it out. Ball is out. The Panthers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. He'll take the snap from the gun. The grab is made by Kelvin Benjamin. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. Let's see how they back up the big play here. The play clock's running down. Benjamin's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. The Panthers offense has been tough today. They are fighting out there on the field. That's a nice job picking up that first down. It's been fun to watch. They got a small lead here in the second half. We'll see if that first down can lead them to a score. First down at the 46. Flip to the outside. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Loss of three on the play. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Second and 13. He'll throw it over the middle. It's knocked down. Well, it's do or die right now, and you've got to go ahead and make the call to give your offense a chance to get this first down. And I know this team, they have a lot at their disposal. I think there's a play in there that's going to give them a good chance. Third and 13. Comes away with it. The Panthers, not punting, going to go for it on fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. The Falcons now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone. And so many people contributed on that last drive, and you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. The ball is spotted right at the 46. Ryan from the gun. It's intercepted. On his way. The 20, the 10, and he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. What a catch. What an interception. And not only that, take it all the way back for a touchdown. You talk about deflating for an offense. Oh, shoot. That, that gets close to making him quit. The Panthers could have asked for this third quarter to have gone any better for them than it has so far as they just continued to do what they were doing in the first half, up and down the field. Oh, man, they kept the pedal to the metal, man. They are letting it go. They're being aggressive, and they're trying to end this game right here. Perhaps the best ever. Hester on the return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Falcons offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return the pigskin. And they should thank the defense, bailing them out of trouble getting that turnover. You're right, they're just giving the football away. 
not being conscious of holding it the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Ryan's back in shotgun formation. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. And it's batted down. The Falcons don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. And it's a fake. They're running a fake. Moving it to the other side of the field at the 49. First down at the 49. Tolbert's handed the football, coming out of the I formation. After running it, it's second down. shotgun formation into the hands of Kelvin Benjamin the Panthers step to the line to begin the fourth quarter after a big gainer to close out the third breaking huddle at the 23 yard line first down following the long play here is the first snap of the final quarter that's a gain of seven He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play. Carolina in the end zone. Touchdown. And with less than a quarter to play, it's going to be very difficult to catch them at this point. Yeah, the, the chances of a comeback have almost gone to impossible. But I'll say this on the offensive side. Don't take any chances and see if you can just find a way to march down the field and score to keep this game going. The Panthers getting set to kick it away. made right around the 26 yard line the Falcons are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way that turnover led to turnover points and now let's see if the offense can get that back the ball is fumbled recovery by the offense nice job by the offense at time even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away Dropping back three. Launching it deep, but it's incomplete. Well, the most common thing that most offensive coordinators do in the NFL on third long situations, they're going to call a play where they probably don't think they're going to pick up the first down, but they're looking for field position. Quick drop back. Looking long. Man intercepted. Early in the fourth, and if there was ever a thought of a 